Was sagst du? The man fleeing through the streets of Tokyo wearing only an apron is Daniel Josefsson. So ein bisschen heller ist gut. The Berlin-based photographer and artist is putting the finishing touches to a promotional film for an exhibition of his work in Hamburg. Like any other commercial, it aims to be memorable. Josef Zone is pleased with the results. We came up with the idea two hours beforehand. Then we put the sign together, sorted out the cardboard and wood. The unexpected also awaits visitors to the artist's home in Berlin. German born to Jewish parents, the 48-year-old lives here with his dog Jesus, so named because it fits well with Josef Sohn, meaning son of Joseph. Religion and its political consequences belong to the artist's main themes. One of his ideas is called Muzzle Bu Ju Christ Dao. It's a faith fragrance held in concrete casing. The title is made up of the first syllables of the world's major religions. He chose the unconventional materials for specific reasons. We chose concrete because it's a very heavy topic. Mazel Bud Jew Christin Dao, getting to the essence of each other, that was the big idea behind it. This is the first concept in our advertising campaign. This is the second. The first political perfume in world history. Powerful enough to bring opposing religions together. There is method behind Daniel Josefsson's provocation. Yeah, I think it's one of the only ways to point out certain things. Sometimes it's most effective to directly highlight certain facts. It might have remained a piece of conceptual art, but something remarkable happened. The Guide of Perfumes, the scent maker's Bible, gave Muzzle Bu Ju Christ Hindau five out of five stars, an honor bestowed on only a handful of perfumes worldwide. Daniel Josef Zun saw the chance to cash in on his concept, but he couldn't find a financial backer for his political fragrance. The industry wasn't really into the idea. They prefer to sell pure, happy, we love ourselves products. We weren't able to offer them that. Heavy subjects often demand a subtle approach. And Daniel Josefsson has found it here, between the concrete slabs of the Holocaust Memorial in Berlin. He's used the same concrete supplier as the Jewish creator of the memorial, Peter Eisenman. Josefsson was inspired by Eisenman's sense of humor. He says the memorial emanates dignity and playfulness, something only a piece of art can do. I prefer to laugh instead of cry about the whole thing. Sometimes I feel like crying instead of being able to laugh about it. But a day without laughing is a bad day. Daniel Josefsson might not make it rich as a perfume maker, but with humor and self-deprecation, he plans to stay on the scent of world peace.